This week have been really rainy and even some thunderstorms that made it interesting working with metal attached to a mast reaching 23 meters in the air. Why don't you want to climb the mast today? <laughs> between the squalls trying hard to get the last things done with the rigging. This is the rod kicker and something you rarely find on a catamaran. Inside this telescopic tube there is a powerful suspension, preventing the boom dropping into the bimini. The rod kicker also plays an important role in sail trimming as well, and especially in light winds. It also facilitates sail handling when reefing my mainsail, when I'm dropping down the sail with my semi-automatic reefing system. The old one was basically worn out, so Carib Marine had one brand new shipped in from Selden. Everything is now in top condition, and B3 is ready to fly over the oceans again, and I will be very confident knowing risk of having a demasting out at the Big Blue is reduced to a minimum. If you have not seen previous episode, I've been working on a parallel project when the mast was off the boat. Because I had an idea of adding lights to illuminate the mast with LED lights from the spreaders and the masthead. It's so much easier to do the wiring when the mast already was off, so I made a last minute decision that I really wanted to do this. And it have been quite a big project, getting all the wiring ready inside the spreaders and the mast, preparing for mounting the ordered LED lamps when they arrive. We even made some custom fittings for the lamps at the masthead. And all this new stuff generates lots of cables down below. And this is what I have been working with while waiting for the lamps to arrive. I designed and made my own switch panel trying to visually match the existing panels at the nav station. To arrange all the new cables from A to B might sound as an easy task, but I can promise you this was quite a challenge. The shortest and easiest way was keeping it between the roof layers and behind the galley lockers. After some thinking I found out I need a flexi tube to protect the cables at one corner. There was a risk of not only getting stuck but also protecting the cables from sharp edges. Removing the back plates inside the cabinets in my galley was pretty easy and I had a great access all the way back to the nav station. This was actually easier than I expected and saved me lots of time. However, from the galley via my walk-in closet it was tricky and my guiding cable did not do the job. I had to be pretty creative and this turned out to be a great idea using the hose as a guide as I could tape the flex tube to this and twist and trick it around the corner via the holes in the roof. Using cables and aluminium stick to get the holes in position took me the entire day. I had to fiddle between fiberglass and forced walls and double roofed layers. Using my iPhone video function with light inside the compartment helped me understand how to get around. This also made it possible to control that I was on the right track at places I only could get my hand inside. As weird it sounds and looks, using this hose was my best idea this week and it worked just perfect for this job. Done with this labyrinth, I got all my cables out at the first cupboard above the galley. From there it was fast and easy, and while having this open, I took a video cable back as well. Once all the cables was in place all the way to the nav station, I could finally put back the roof again from under the mast via master cabin entrance and my walk-in closet. Cleaning and tidy things up a bit before taking out a hole in the wall at the nav station. I wanted to be sure I would manage having all the cables in position before the new switch panel was temporarily put in place. Most likely this could be done in other and even better ways, but at least it matches the other LED lights below. So this is as close as I could make it design wise considering time frame and being on a Caribbean island. I'm happy with this result and it was fun to make it as well. Hey, finally been doing the light. So I'm gonna see the light. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is almost a religious moment. Come take my hand and walk there with me. I know a place where we can be free. There is a light shining. Light me up, don't you stop. Cause tonight it's on the line. Show me how you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride This would been much easier done at the shipyard while the mast was off, but at least the cables was ready. And for Marcus and Manu this is easy done anyway, and they have lots of experience in this kind of work. It's always interesting to watch how easy things looks when done by professionals. 
I'm still here on the mercy of the marina and have postponed my departure several times. So I'm really happy I could stay until now as the job would be not so comfortable out at the anchorage. It's hurricane season and the marina is fully booked. The connections between the lamps and the cables are soldered and heat shrinked before mounted, so there is no shortcuts made here, even sealed off to protect from water. It took some time, but that's how it is when things are done properly. We are almost done, as Marcus is going up again for the last round. As you can see, it's getting late and even working overtime his last day before his holiday. And we have been so lucky with the weather today as well. Life passing by, can't go slow, no, no, we're riding once then we're done, I'm gonna light up the sky, gonna play it strong. This result is awesome, but definitely need a dimmer for the more ambient expression I'm looking for at Anchor. However, to have this floodlight at night as an option is absolutely amazing. So I'm actually starting to be a little bit short on time because I have to be out of this marina on Monday. So, and today it's Friday. So <laughs> to be able to give you uh, the impression how the lights looks like, I had to fake it. So it looked cool on the video, ding, 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 ding. But uh, the truth is, it's not 100% connected as it should be yet. Um, also, uh, this is a prototype. I'm not 100% sure if that's how it's gonna be. Uh, also, obviously, as I point out, um, the light is a little bit bright uh, for the ambience uh, on Anchorage. Um, so I designed, um, I designed a, a dimmer panel and I will do some experiments. I'm not sure if you can see this, uh, but I'm going to make a uh, dimmer that's going to place up here as well. So, uh, but I'm going to try it out together before I start making new holes. Uh, I might even make a new big display, but the thing is there are buttons that you can get uh, that uh, you just hold in and they dim down. Um, but it's not so convenient because I prefer to have it more like this analog style. It's more visual. Um, so if I need a full flood, just boom, 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 and it's full flood. And also when I'm at Anchorage, I, I will learn where the, the knobs should be to have the perfect. Uh, so it's much faster than holding a button in and then you have to run out, see, okay, how is it? So now I, I just want to keep it stupid simple and I probably will make it myself. So normally I do this uh, final uh, session of my videos outside with a cold beer. Not today. It's such a shitty weather. It rains sideways. So <laughs> I decided to do this indoor instead and I just want to upload this video to you guys. Uh, on Monday I'm leaving this marina, so I'm starting to be a little short on time. I have to wrap everything together. Um, I'm going out to the anchorage, drop my hook. Um, I'm gonna clean B3 under because, uh, well, it's almost like a coral reef under there now. Um, it's nice to have a clean hole before I set sail. But uh, for sure, in a few days I will set sail. And the funny part is I still don't know exactly where. <laughs> But I will figure it out. Um, there is some weather systems brewing outside of the coast of Africa. I'm gonna pay close attention to that uh, because sailing uh, the entire Caribbean Sea with a potential hurricane system chasing me is not a very good idea. I'm not very afraid of this. Uh, it looks like it's 
might be um, just a tropical storm or something, but uh, we'll see. So it's not much more to say than uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, uh, all the best. Cheers! Singing